क्या बोल बोलना Yeah. So, anyone has a question on GPIL? That's where we'll left for the lunch. Okay, I don't think so. So then, hello. Yes, Arun. Uh, so actually, can I ask one thing uh, regarding a uh, Chinese market? Huh? Is it okay? What, what is your question? It's a general question or regarding from with respect to the GPIL? Uh, general question. Yeah, yeah, please ask. Okay, actually, I read one thing that is Hong Seng index PE, na? Mm -hmm. that is below NASDAQ price to book value. Okay. That is uh, damn cheap, it seems, the Hang Seng index. Any views on this? Okay. No, I'm not tracking that deeply in terms of uh, comparing NASDAQ versus Hang Seng. Okay. I don't invest outside India also, personally. Okay, okay no. thank you. Nagun sir, we can connect later. I have actually written something on Twitter regarding the same. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we should connect. This is not regarding to the uh, seminar. So we can connect personally, I think. Yeah, yeah. okay. Fine. So we'll just have a <clears throat> quick audience round on the questions, basically, from the session. So be ready with that. What you have to do is just <clears throat> press in the chat the right options, A, B, C, D, right, based on the question. So be ready with your chat windows. And here comes your question. Sangvi Movers commands how much market share in the cranes greater than 400 MT? Okay, I think most of the people have got the right answer. It is 60%. So, I will go to the next question. Meaning of LTV and BFC. And I think most of you will get it right. And Ankit, you cannot play this question, right? It is your only. You should not play this. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think uh, Sujay and Nilima. Okay, we'll go down and check. Yeah, I think Sujay, you, you might have won it. I will just reconfirm once again, but I think you have won this round. Thanks, Panik. Yeah. Okay, I will stop sharing. We'll move on to Mithun's presentation. Mithun, you are there, right? Yes, I'm there. Yeah, so you can start sharing from your side. Okay. Let me know once you're able to see my screen. It is, uh, it is visible. No, 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 no. Okay. Just you have to speak a little loudly, possibly, I think. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Others, it is fine. Is it better now? Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> Uh, so th this is Mithun. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Raymond's Limited. Uh, it's not so undiscovered stock. It's basically discovered stock, but I'm going to emphasize on how uh, we're going to play on the uh, basically division of shares as in special situations, which is going to come up in uh, Raymond Limited and the kind of valuation it faced. Hello. Uh, hello? Okay. Uh, let me continue. So what kind of valuation it, it has and what kind of valuation it can fetch in coming year as in 
I'm expecting this to be played in this year only because the uh, they are going for NCLT in the month of, as in they are expecting the approvals in the month of uh, June, July or something like August, but nothing guaranteed in this case. So let us, uh, let us start. Okay. So they went predominantly is a textile company and everybody knows Raymond as a company, but, and it's an, uh, and it's an old company basically, but still it never got the, uh, it's never got the valuation in a way it should deserve as an, my thesis is that Raymond, even though the company is an old and it has a brand name, but the market cap of this company just started it to be a mid cap initially it was small cap so it has a fantastic run and during the covid lows from the covid lows it has been like 4x or 5x but uh, now it is consolidating over the current prices because of certain reasons uh, we will discuss those reasons also so i have just given a screenshot of the screener uh, which shows the the p multiple current price book value return on equity so all this uh, looks decent. The P is comparatively low, which is shown because it has the uh, abnormal income, which it generated from a sale of certain side of business. Okay. So let's talk about the graphs in terms of technical analysis. This is the uh, graph of Raymond. It's a daily uh, chart. And this is the, the green indicates the relative strength, which is stronger. The red indicates the relative strength is weaker than the underlying index, which is Nifty, uh, Nifty 500, which I have considered, CNX Nifty 500. This is a daily chart. And at the same time, we have the weekly chart. The data changes. So here it shows the relative strength is positive comparatively because on the weekly chart, it considers the more uh, older records also. And that's the reason it is shown as positive. Over here, it considers the recent record, so it shows the negative biasness over here. At the same time, I would like to highlight this is a time where the uh, the promoter, which is Gautam Singhania, had some issues with his with her with his wife uh, Nawaz Modi, and um, that's the time when certain videos got surfaced on Instagram and some other uh, uh, social sites, basically and it had a fall over here. Over here, at the same time, we can see there has been an accumulation over here. This is the peak accumulation as in a graph, which indicates that somebody bought big and that automatically act as a support. After that, the new surface that they are trying to melt down things as in they are trying to sort out the differences and the demands, which were these as high as 75% are going down. So that time the sizes started consolidating over here. Over here, at the same time, I would like to highlight a new new surface around uh, around this prices, where uh, it was shown that Raymond has to pay as in they uh, got uh, custom duty charge on the cars which has been bought by Gautam Seganya. Assuming that this is a very bad news in terms of a company. But that day, what happened on the daily price, the custom duty, even though the news came in for 326 crores as a penalty bill to pay, still it somehow managed to close positive, which indicates that as in there are hardly any sellers left to sell at this prices. Uh, even though the negative news has been factored in, in a positive way, it's, it's just done and dusted. At the same time, the stock again started consolidating which forming multiple doji's patterns over here, as in it's quite of indecisiveness, but the stock is not falling, even though there are some uh, bad news coming up. This happened as a 9th of Jan, around 8.30 AM, the news striked on, uh, I suppose, economic times. After that also, the stock stayed positive. It's not like the news came after 3.30. So that is what happened. Uh, another thing, uh, Raymond ventured into real estate and in real estate, it started with a mid, uh, maiden project called 10X uh, Habitat, which is a very big project. It is like 14 acres of land, which 10 buildings, uh, approximately eight buildings of 42 story and two more buildings of 55 story and a very big clubhouse and swimming pool, all the facilities, which you can imagine of. <clears throat> And what happened in this real estate, uh, they delivered uh, this project two days prior than the RERA rate, uh, RERA date, which was approved. 
So basically, they have delivered prior, which is unheard of anybody doing so. As in anybody in the real estate normally delivers on time or late, but they were able to deliver that before before the due date. As in, and that was a very big positive for Raymond a reality, and that created a big uh, positive bias towards the Raymond reality, and uh, it was able to start another multiple projects. As in. Uh, let's say another big big project in the same compound and which has a fantastic booking. So I will talk about his business model, but let me show you the the certain shareholding patterns. The promoter holdings is constant around forty nine percentage. The FIS has been increasing this share since March twenty twenty one. It went from six percent to seventeen percent, and then December it got reduced. I suppose because of the news and the <clears throat> and the effects of that uh, division between him and his wife. Same is the case with the DI. Similar pattern. The DI is also increasing, but not at the same pace where FI is increasing. But they are still increasing. In December month, they have increased it from 6% to 7.88%. We have an ACE investor, Mukul Agarwal, who has invested since March and is still staying with this company at uh, 1.50. Neither decrease, neither increase. Remaining rest of the data is is uh, self explanatory as in the number of shareholders, other shareholders are decreasing from 40% to 28%. So, so what, why Raymond right now, as in what happened in Raymond uh, in last few years? What's so happened? So, first of all, what they did is Raymond realized, as in Gautam Singhania realized that he won't able to handle this company himself alone. So, he has to hire uh, good professions. And he was not relying on the old employees within Raymond. So he hired six guys outside the Raymond at a very good positions, like CEOs of individual uh, entities, at the same time CEOs, as well as a group CFO. Uh, I would like to mention the group CFO uh, specifically. The group CFO's name is Amit Agarwal. He's, an, uh, he's a very good chap. He uh, uh, and he has a very decent track record. He used to uh, the only problem, if at all, like to uh, tell you the company which he handled, you will feel it's uh, he handled it very wrong. But if at all you go through his old interviews, you will understand whatever things he was able to do and what things he was trying to. He used to work with Jet Airways. Since bad, as in the company went bankrupt, what happened? Why they hired them with Agarwal in that case? So this chap, when he was hired, within few years. In Jet Airways, he tried to reduce the debt over here by selling his non-core assets, and he tried to do everything. The Jet Airways fiasco happened because of the promoters' uh, another requirements, as in uh, diversion of funds and other other political linkages. But as a group CFO, he tried everything best for it, this company, but that went wrong. Then he was hired by JSW. Uh, within JSW, the specific segment quoted steels, and he was hired for the CEO of that particular organization. He worked over there for two years, and then he joined Raymond. And since 2019, he was, as in he's still in Raymond. Uh, over here, he started with the same thing. Raymond was a uh, very much uh, debt-ridden company. So he came in, he looked into various things, and he reduced the debt. How he reduced? He sold off the non-core assets, which involves uh, uh, some consumer products, uh, which involves perfumes, those kind of things, which were not scalable business for him as in that. And they sold off this business to Godrej consumers and they got a very good price. As a result, they become completely neutralized as in they are now net debt uh, positive. As in, 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 in a way, basically, uh, I will sorry, I would say net debt negative. Basically, they, they have extra cash now. So they are able to focus more on the business, which they see uh, has more legs to grow. And that business is basically real estate. I'm going to focus more about real estate, textiles, everybody knew it, but I'm going to touch some part of the textile and why I think uh, we should focus on real estate more. These are the reasons which, uh, why Raymond has changed as in they have changed the working capital uh, days. They have reduced the number of subsidiaries the ratios have increased drastically. Then uh, they are playing on China plus one because some of the clients who wanted some textile garments from uh, China, they are coming to India because of the quality and the price which they offer. 
and they have launched a brand called Ethnic, uh, which is a head-on competition to Maniavar, which is a Vedant fashion, which is also a listed entity. Uh, and I'm going to focus in textile specifically on uh, Ethnic as a brand and how I think this brand will get, if not better, a similar valuation can still create a multi-bagger within this textile business. But uh, we'll continue and we'll talk about the sales and the profitability of this brand. So here we will focus on the what is the special situation which is coming up for Raymond. So Raymond basically uh, initially it had only textile. So they created the uh, real estate in between themselves and they had a small engineering business which was not so aggressive. But recently they have turned out more aggressive by buying out a company from the sale of the trans, uh, consumer uh, goods business to Godrej consumers and they have invested that money to buying some another entity called uh, money uh, entity as in which is handled by Gautam, another guy Gautam Malini. So <clears throat> this part of the business is what we gonna be talking more about. So within this real estate, how uh, they ventured into real estate and why they ventured into real estate. So they have a very good land parcel in Thane and which is a prime area. I don't know many uh, whether you people are familiar with the Thane as a city, but uh, within Thane, the, they, uh, there's a mall called Viviana Mall. And behind that, they have a very big area from Pokemon Road 1 to Pokemon number, number 2, a prime area of Thane, which is around 114 acres of land parcel with Raymond, which has been used for nothing. As in, they, they, they have a helipads over there, some wedding grounds over there, big, big lands. So 114 acres was lying at the idle with Raymond, no textile business running over there. There's small business units, not business or office units, but they're trying to close down those offices, move down, move those offices to a better place and something like that. And this 114 acres of land, which either Raymond can sell it or they can utilize themselves for a better way. And they thought about building a real estate out of this land. And this was very good because this land is available at fraction of cost uh, in uh, in 1950s or 1960s. And now they are just sitting on this land parcel of 114, which is prime area, uh, very good uh, demand. So this they started with a project called 10X Habitat Raymond. And uh, they themselves are not sure whether it's going to be scaled up so in a better way. But the business model which they thought and which they did and executed very well is that they wanted to be asset light. And when I say asset light, so they are not building themselves. They have hired a contractor, a contractor named Capricite Infra Projects, uh, who has who is also a listed entity and a very good uh, name. As in Capricite is the company which builds most of the projects for the high high rise stars, uh, which includes Obra Reality also, which is there in Mulund, which is around I suppose fifty five story building, uh, for uh, Mulund area where they have built up in LBS Road, and the same thing what they did is they hired a contractor, uh, Capacite as a builder and a contractor of his or uh, Hafiz contractor as in he's also brand uh he also a name, and he delivered all the things what he promised at a very decent prices because it was his first project. But even though he was not sure whether this is going to scale up or then it's going to be saleable or not, uh, because being a uh, the first uh, first uh, real estate company, as in first uh, business which is going to do in real estate. So what he did is there's, another, there's a school called Suniti, uh, sorry, Sulochna Devi Singhania. This school, Singhania is one of the top 10 ranking schools in Maharashtra. And I suppose in Bombay region, MMM region, it would be number three, uh, second or third position, Sulochna Singhania. And this school is very famous for uh, the alumni and the, uh, as in the guests which comes in for the functions, includes the chief ministers also. So he opened another school called Suniti Devi Singhania in the same ground, as in, in Pokhran Road number one, we have Sulochna Devi Singhania. And in Pokhran Road number two, he has a school called Suniti Devi Singhania and uh, advertise it in a simple way that anybody who buys a flat will get the admission in Suniti Devi school. And many people who were in self-doubt whether to buy flat on 
not to buy a flat. There was another reason to buy this flat. Now they want their child to study in one of the best school. And that's the reason they started buying this flat without knowing the fact that the project will get completed or not because this is the first project. But it turned out blockbuster as in sales were going very high. And now they have stopped doing that as in they have stopped doing buying a flat and getting an admission for surety. Now they say that they will be preferred, but not sure. But initially they started with always as in they, it was like a surety that you buy a flat, you will get an admission for your child over here. And that's the reason it got very good sales in the beginning. Second thing what happened is uh, as they are asset light, they just used their brand name Raymond and the contracting work was sublet out to Capacite. And Capacite was able to deliver the project two years prior than what it was promised. As a result, Capacite is getting contracts over and over and Raymond is able to sell their flats like anything. So with this flat, as in with this project getting hit, he started with another project called GS, GS, which is 55 story building, uh, two buildings. And then he started another project called uh, Raymond uh, 10X Era, which is again behind the Viviana Mall. And then he started with another project called uh, GS2 and Invictus, some, I suppose Invictus. And this, all the projects which happened, as in which were created, uh, as in it's been done now, as in, but it has been started in last one, one and a half year. As in, think about this. This is a company which started the real estate business in 2019 and now is building four premium projects for in the same ground and able to execute it well. And now people are ready to buy without getting admission also. As in, uh, that's how it is. And he's trying to get another school getting started. It's called Gautam Singhania International School. So that's the way he's trying to operate the real estate as well as the educational business. But educational business is, of course, not part of Raymond, but he's getting that uh, leverage from the uh, this educational institute because of the brand name which is, has been created. This is what I have explained as in this is one of the best projects in Thane region because of the value it offers at the price which offers and the location. Uh, in the same road, we have Tata Serin in Pokhran Road number two. And in the same road, we're going to have Oberoi Reality, a very mega project is going to come in uh, in, uh, in uh, Pokhran Road number two. At the same time, we have Ashal projects coming up in uh, Pokhran Road number one. But the, any of the projects, uh, except for Oberoi, none of the project is going to be as big as Raymond because it's 114 acres uh, land parcel. So after developing this business, as in after getting into real estate, they thought that now it's better time to venture out also. And they wanted to be an asset light. So this is going to use their brand name, which is Raymond or Gautam Singhania, either of the brand name, and try to get the projects on their name. And they are getting into redevelopment projects, which is in one of them is Bandra. And another one is, I suppose, in Mahim. Um, and it, this is also an asset light because the land belongs to uh, the society uh, it's, and they get approvals on the basis of, and the capacity infra is going to deliver the project because all the contracts, they don't have any manufacturing assets as in construction assets in their books. Or if you see the balance sheet, the assets are not been increasing and they don't want it to be asset heavy also. So they're going to uh, always going to sublet to uh, capacity or maybe if at all some other entity comes in, which going to sublet then. I find it difficult, but uh, Capacite and Raymond are going hand in hand with, for all the projects. And uh, currently what they have developed is 40 acres of land, which has been approved. They have estimated revenue of 9,000 crores, out of which 4,880 has been booked as on 30 September. I'm expecting this numbers to be getting inflated by March results because uh, many, many uh, projects, are, many, many bookings are being done. At the same time, uh, they're going to have another 60 acres of land, which is still left out and which has a potential of 16,000 crores. This whole land parcel is going to give them around uh, 25,000 crores, which is going to be delivered in next, as in they, they're talking about one ticket, but the, 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 the speed at which the execution is happening, I will be sub, I will not be surprised if at all they deliver this project uh, in matter of six years or seven years, something like that. That is what it is. At the same time, the Bandra and Mahim, are the other projects where they are expecting a revenue of 2,000 crores, 1,700 crores. And they are still in a discussion with other, <coughs> they are still in discussion with the 
other uh, for other projects also uh, i will give you the references of the interviews where amit agarwal comes on the tv on uh, uh, et now and uh, cnbc and he talks about what raymond is going to deliver in real estate how aggressive they are in real estate uh, here i have uh, I pasted the presentation uh, thing about uh, about all the projects which they are trying to deliver so this is 10x habitat which is where 85% of the transaction has been done then we have GS. This is the first uh, another project by Raymond in this front of 10x habitat where 89% of the uh, transaction has been. This is only three BHKs, three BHKs, four BHK, and five BHK. This is two BHKs and one BHK, and something like that. And then we have 10x area, which is also two BHK and three BHK commonality. So 10x, which will be used for premium mid size and uh, uh, GS is going to be premium, but on the higher end, basically, uh, bigger flats, bigger pricing, and more lavish than the 10x. That's what uh, the project's being identified by. And this is the GS2, which has been recently started, where, where we have 49% of these units being sold, and they have just dug up the place, and because it started recently, as in, I suppose, six months back only, they have just started this project. Invectors is another project which is more lavish is 4.5 BHKs, which is uh, bigger flats, lesser number of rooms, 25% of the assets are already sold. As in, think about it, new guy in the same segment and getting uh, most of the projects being sold at the scale where nobody is able to say, sell that kind of properties. So here we have the financials. We have a branded textiles, as in this, this branded textile, branded apparels, garmenting and high value. This is going to be forming a part of lifestyle business. So they're going to have a division of their company in two parts, RCCL, uh, and they're going to have Raymond Limited. The Raymond Limited will hold the uh, real estate as well as the some tools as in the engineering business. And the uh, Raymond Lifestyle business is going to hold all this branded textile, branded apparels, garmenting, and high value. And here, for the every five shares of the Raymond, you will get four shares of Raymond uh, textiles, as in uh, lifestyle, sorry, Raymond li uh, lifestyle. So that's how the division is going to work around. Um, this is currently their uh, EBITDA margins also, EBITDA for every division, which has been, uh, and these are the expected uh, EBITDA margin. This is from a systematic PCG research group, uh, where they have divided, uh, where they are dis uh, given the segment-wise uh, EBITDA margin. At the same time, there is the EBITDA margin. This is the EBITDA margin. As you can see, the EBITDA margin is 25 percentage, and which has been correct as in, which is really nice to see the real estate having a EBITDA margin of 25.8 percent with the return of capital employed, which is in 2021, was 5.8 and 57.5 in real estate. We are going to have return on capital employed. This is best of the class in real estate. As in, nobody has these kind of return of capital employed. Everybody has has around 8%, 10%, 12%, 15%, 15%, these kind of return of capital employed. But uh, Raymond is getting the uh, return on capital employed at 50%, which is like class, the first in the first in the class in, in a way. And that the reason behind that being a satellite, and he has a land parcel, which was at a fraction of the cost in his book. So all the, uh, all the money which he gets from his customers uh, directly jumps and goes to the uh, profit. Uh, this is the non-financial details. So uh, as I as I earlier said that uh, what oh uh, the ethnic as a brand, which is also they have focused in Dexel. So what they think as in they they think which is the segment which is going to gonna grow high and they're gonna be aggressive in that particular segment. So ethnic as a brand which is in direct competition with Manuel, which is with our fashion. They are growing aggressive over here, uh, uh, opening more number of units, getting more influencers on uh, Instagram, hiring the actors from the local region and getting it branded from these guys. That is what the strategy has been. No uh, aggressive marketing, neither ex uh, expected, uh, ex ex excessive uh, being done from, uh, as of now, at least nothing excessive like hiring big actors, like maybe... Without Kohli or some other guy, cricketer or uh, actor, they have hired the local actors and they are marketing their products very well. 
in that way as in they they are getting very good responses also that's the reason they are growing high and that is what is reflected in the systematic research group the branded apparel the ethnic as a environment is a part of branded apparel where they are expecting the growth rate going from 43 to 144 then 155 and 182 uh, in terms of EBITDA margin and in terms of sales it's going to be 1870 it's not only ethnic by uh, Raymond it includes some other parts also uh, which is of course the branded apparel part and which is going to be focused over here so see the growth rate over here the jump in the growth rate which is the segment which is going to grow high in uh, textiles as in a lifestyle is going to be the branded apparel where they are focusing very high and in the of course in Raymond Limited the real estate is going to be the star but the engineering business also so they these these guys they have acquired money precision engineering and they have consolidated their other entities which is jk files rpll and money precision and the one entity only and they are expecting it to be posting a revenue of 15 15 percent CAGR and 20 percent uh, EBITDA margin for next four years uh they are also expecting to getting uh, getting into aerospace and defense. They are already delivering, but they are not delivering very bigger products. Uh, as I heard that uh, they are expecting uh, more aggressiveness in aerospace and defense. So I'm more focused on Raymond Limited rather than a Raymond Lifestyle. But look at the valuation. So the valuations over here, the valuation metrics, tell you branded apparels, textiles, garmenting, and high value and engineering. This whole thing, deserves uh, gets the valuation up to here is like 1700 approximately 1200 for the branded textiles 273 for apparels garmenting 126 and uh, the engineering business is 253 real estate they have taken an EBITDA multiple of 10 over here so the EBITDA which they are expecting right now they are multiplied by 10 and getting around 3700 as enterprise value Number divided by the number of shares, they are getting 565 as the current price, which I think is grossly undervalued given the current situation of the real estate, how it is in, in, in a way it is being shaping up in terms of the sales which they are able to deliver it and reducing the debt over here. So they have taken a debt, which is an inter-party debt where the sale of the assets happened and they are taken, Raymond Limit has taken debt from their own entity, uh, which has cash and issued NCDs, but as a net debt level, they are negative basically. So the valuation which they are getting right now is around 1,700 and the valuation they are expecting, this is the conservative way of valuation. Uh, you can compare the EBITDA margin, what they get for manual, uh, EBITDA multiples, and you can compare the real estate EBITDA margins for Suntec or a good rich properties, what they get right now. And this is the peer comparison, which I've done. These are the top 30 real estate companies where the PE multiple has been provided and market cap uh, and the AV by beta margin and what, what is the being one year return and the return on capital employed. So this is the return on capital employed. This is the one year return and this is the AV beta margin. So overall reality is getting 23.14 Godrej properties. I have highlighted only these companies because these are the companies which predominantly operate in MMR region. Uh, while other companies uh, are more into Bangalore or other region, north or other south region. So this this is purely MMR region. So these are the EBITDA margin which they are getting. Uh, and that's how it is. At the same time, I have compared it with Vedant Fashion, which is going to be the head-on competition. And over here, they get an EBITDA margin, EBITDA multiple of 38.99%. Uh, uh, sorry, not percent, 38.99 times. And you can see the market cap of this company, which is 27,319 with the multiples of 67. Over here, you are getting the whole business where they have uh, where they have considered the multiples around 17 times. So the company is being uh, currently quoted around 17 times. The, the P multiple at the screener considers the abnormal income of the sale of assets. Uh, if at all you remove that and you get the numbers, you will get the number of 17 times approximately as the uh, P multiple. The biggest risk in this company is Gautam Singhania himself and his relationships. But to avoid this kind of, uh, as in he realized himself that he can't handle this company uh, and grow it to the next level himself. So that's the reason he has hired uh, more than six 
big guys from uh, and added him them in this uh, his company right I mean. and that's the reason uh, i think if at all the divorce happen and if at all the segregation of assets happen where certain stake will be sold from uh, Raymond's to from his uh, name or may include directly uh, his uh, wife's name which is going to be Nawaz Modi that's the only risk which uh, i can think of apart from that so already he has a fight with his father already he has a fight with his wife i don't think now anybody from his uh, personal relationships are left out with him and he is a guy who is now getting big and wanted his name to be bigger uh, before getting over others. That's what I think because the kind of projects which is trying to deliver it is now adding more his name rather than the Raymond's name. So Raymond 10x era, Raymond 10x habitat and these are the only two projects which where he has Raymond name while the rest of the other projects are like GS1 which is Gautam Singhania 1, Gautam Singhania 2, Invectus by Gautam Singhania. This is how he is creating his name and he wanted to make his name more bigger as a brand. That's that's the only risk I can think of as of now. Uh, I'm open to any kind of questions which you have. Uh, I've been, I don't know, I've been very cut short with this presentation because I don't have much over here. As in it's, it's a pretty simple business. There's nothing new coming over here. It's just that they have sold off their assets. They are turning around and doing the things where Raymond as a company can flourish well by himself, as in by himself, as in by the board members, which he has hired. And Ambit Agarwal's interview you should watch, which is six years back, where he's talking about the debts being reduced uh, uh, with the uh, NAT now. Hmm. Amazing. Uh... Mithun. So very well summarized, actually. And this is the kind of a special situation which most of the people keep on talking in the market. And one of the special situation is in front of us, actually. Yeah. So people keep searching where it is, where it is. Here it is. So and very well summarized. I must appreciate you, Mithun. From the last ALD to this ALD, you have grown a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Coming from you is very big appreciation. <laughs> It was very smooth. Uh, we have done this time. Yeah, so guys, any questions for him? Yeah, if we consider uh, uh, real estate, right now it, he is building on his, let's say, uh, available land. So hmm. will that continue once uh, he runs out of this, the land that he had already? For oh, uh, right. So, uh, good question. Over here, the, the point which I wanted to highlight is it's, it's not small acres, it's 114 acres. And he's talking about completing this land in 10 years. By 10 years, uh, as in, the story would have been far bigger. As in, I would be I would be tracking this company on year-on-year -year basis because real estate is a lumpy business. But let's say I'm expecting it to do very well. It to do very well in coming two years at least, as in, uh, that's the base case assumption over here. Uh, till that time, after that time, then I will reconsider whether it's able to uh, deliver good in uh, uh, deliver good in the the joint development where he is talking about the redevelopment of properties like Bandra and Mahim, how these projects are delivered. I will go over there personally and visit because this is a project which I personally visit. I talk, <clears throat> I see the projects. I've taken some pics also, but I'm not attached to pics because it's almost available in uh, on internet. As in, they have their presentation. It's just that some buildings are being shown under construction, but uh, the pace at which Raymond is doing the project. Uh, I can tell you for one thing for sure, nobody in in uh, MMR region is able to deliver the project which is delivering on time or before time. And the, the things which is delivered along with this projects, as in the, the uh, you can Google out as in uh, the Thane, uh, one of the biggest club, which uh, Raymond has going to deliver in month of March, I suppose. Uh, lavish swimming pool, butterfly garden, those kind of things. As in at the price of 1.3 or 1.4 crores for two BHK, the smaller two BHKs. And the bigger BHKs are around 1.2 BHKs are around 1.5, 1.65. 
and uh, for the three BHKs and four BHKs, three BHKs quoting around two point smaller two three BHKs is quoting around two point one five two point two crores, uh, which is cheaper than the Tata Sedins project. Tata Sedins are charging higher than this uh, project as it, and that's the reason people are buying Raymond more rather than Tata's or Oberoi's as it. Oberoi is delivering the price at which Raymond is offering at Colchet side. Colchet side Oberoi is coming up with project. Colchet is a place which is um, at a marshy land and a little bit away from the major uh, activities as in Viviana Mall in Thani is quite the place where the major activities happen uh, and cold shed is little far and uh, so even though it looks expensive in terms of the real estate but the value at which they are delivering it and the location which where they are it's it's uh, it's good And let us see. Uh, Mithun, yeah. Yeah. Mithun, this is Chandra. Um, excellent presentation. Very well prepared. Very well uh, presented. So, uh, great job. Just have one question. Uh, this You also mentioned just now about the next two, three years will be very good. Uh, just want to check uh, how much of this has already been factored into the stock price, do you believe? And what further gain is possible so in the, the short term? Short term? So, uh... So if at all, let's say if the divorce fiasco wouldn't have happened, I I really doubt the price wouldn't have been around 1,700. Actually, it came to 1,500. I bought around that prices. But I think it's very easy when the, uh, once there's going to be a division of the shares, as in the, uh, as in, so I see the, the real estate business with these kind of parameters getting premium valuation than what, uh, Goodrich or Santec or maybe Arihant is able to get uh, Arihant are getting. So my expectations are around 800-900 rupees per share uh, for real estate business uh, when the division happens within a span of 2-3 months uh, because there's going to be distress selling of uh, as in because this going to move from mid cap to small cap and then some rules and regulation comes in. So my price may fall for the first few months as in first month or second month and then it will once the results are reflected and get stand out that this is the company which is able to deliver a best of the class metrics, uh, it will get around 800, 900 rupees as a real estate business. And the textile business, uh, I, I think the va fair valuation comes around 1,700. So discounted price would be 1,500, 1,400 if at all you get around those prices. But uh, uh, I'm going to track Ethnic as a brand, how they are growing this brand. Uh, I follow their Instagram page where I've seen they have hired Punjabi actors, Bengali actors, uh, the places where people are much more brand conscious, as in they wanted to buy the apparels which are much more branded and heavily suited. So they are focusing more on the northern side uh, and the West Bengal side where they are uh, getting very good. So they take into consideration what Maniwar is doing also at the same time. And they are trying to replicate those models. And Maniwar by all the standards is uh, is doing well as in uh, they are able to get a higher margin uh, than uh, than the rest of the textile companies so if at all they copy the similar model and they know whom to follow they will able to deliver better they are already getting good margins over here but they, i think they can go much more higher than what they are getting over here because uh, raymond stands out as a brand in textiles Okay, many thanks. Welcome. Any any other questions? Yeah, one more uh, question in the chat uh, yeah. we have is um, the real estate we are mentioning about 4,400 crore sales, but mm -hmm. EBITDA is only 100 crore. So well, where is the discrepancy in the so, numbers? So, so, so let me tell you, uh, the bookings are different. Uh, the, the real estate uh, follows the CCM method, which is completion of a uh, project method where their occupancy is delivered. So right now, out of 10 wings, uh, he has delivered only A, B, and C. These are the three wings. On out of 10 wings, 85% has been sold. But he can't book everything in his books right now. These are like pre skills. So once they are able to hand over the project, which is going to happen in this year only, as in because they have completed the D and the E wing, already and uh, then they have completed the uh, the parking space which is uh, like uh, eight story parking space and 
and the rest of the buildings except for uh two buildings which they got higher approvals initially it was around 42 story and they got now higher fsi and they are making higher 55 story the rest of the eight buildings are the construction work is done uh three buildings have been delivered two buildings will be delivered in by march and uh, the remaining buildings will be delivered uh as in three plus two deliver it's going to be delivered in march and the remaining three will be delivered in this year the another buildings where they got an extra FSI, uh, I don't know whether they're going to get delivered in this year or maybe next year. But said that this, they work day in as well as night out also. So the the machine uh, where the cement uh, mixing happens, that functions at the night also. So what is more risky, buying the stock or buying the flat in Raymond? I mean, both are good if you ask me. <laughs> the <laughs> prices are cheap. Prices are cheap compared to me. Uh, and once the area is developed, uh, that's what uh, it will get much more higher valuation. Because people are still in doubt whether he's going to deliver or not in that way. But uh, whosoever has bought the flats uh, knows that he's going to deliver the promise. As he's very passionate about the real estate. He comes over there during the Ganpati Puja. Mm -hmm. Also, he comes over there in all the major the practices. He, sh he shared those uh, videos on Instagram. Also, that... Uh, uh, the uh, as in the clubhouse and all these things, uh, and uh, there's a already another video in uh, YouTube from Prop for You for Raymond, and where they have discussed all the future projections for this 114 acres land parcel, which is also very good. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, good presentation overall, good insights. So Mithun, Mithun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mithun, are you talking about the space opposite to Pokhran Road? Yes, yes. Uh, Pokhran Road, between Pokhran Road 1 and 2. 1 and That's 1. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one question here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so now uh, all the business is actually happening under the name of Raymond. Huh? So right. will there be a possibility somewhere they get split into different business sometime in the future? So right now already they are splitting their business, right? Doesn't they have a Raymond uh, lifestyle, uh, okay. consumer lifestyle, something like that. And then there's going to be a Raymond uh, Limited. I initially thought the Raymond Limited would consist of the textiles and the lifestyle business because that being the old business, but that's not the case. The Raymond Limited is going to be having the new business, which is real estate and the engineering business. And the Raymond uh -huh. Lifestyle is going to be quoted uh, distinctly as it will get uh, demerged and you will get shares for five shares. You will get four shares of Raymond uh, Lifestyle. And that's oh, okay. the only division which they are talking about. Further division is not possible. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. we'll stop here and hand over to Pankaj uh, for the next presentation. Those are the questions you can put in chat for Mithun. Thank you. Thanks, Mithun. So you can stop sharing and we'll hand over to Pankaj. Pankaj, you can start sharing, see if it is coming up. Can you please make me host? Okay. So, but your name is, okay, here it is. Yeah, given that. Yeah, visible, you can start. Can you able to see the screen now? Yes, we are able to see. 
Yeah, the company which I am covering today is uh, RBM Infra. It's a very small, tiny company uh, with a market cap of uh, 568 crore. Uh, the current price uh, we can see is around 672 Indian rupees uh, per share. And today we are presenting this uh, on this particular company. Uh, my average price around 234 uh, when I invested this company as a, as a total average price. Uh, this is basically the lot wise buying. So earlier lot was around 3000 share per lot. Now I believe that they have reduced to 1000 share per lot. So it's a lot buying. So disclaimer, whatever we are discussing right now or today, uh, it will be purely on a, a educational purpose. Uh, we are not SEBI registered. It's a very standard disclaimer and whatever we are discussing, these are uh, these informations are accurate, accurate as per our own knowledge, but it may not be uh, up to date. So you please take note of that, and uh, we will discuss more detail about this company. What what it what this company do? Uh, what is their line of business? Uh, what is the future projection look like? And uh, how we see uh, about this business? So RBM Infra, the company introduction, this company introduced, uh, in, incorporated in 2013. Uh, these are basically the engineering, execution, testing, commissioning, operation and maintenance related to the mechanical, civil, as well as the rotary equipments for oil and gas, refineries, petrochemical complexes, uh, as well as power plant based projects. So you can see this lot of complicated uh, process plants, fertilizer plants and petrochemical plants. So they are providing all type of services to these companies. So they come, they work directly with the end user. Also they work uh, under the main contractor like Larson and Turbo or Pungiloid or Toyo Engineering, that type of people. So they work as their as subcontractor of big EPC clients as well. So their business models is engaged basically the providing of civil mechanical services to medium and large size infrastructure projects. And they are catering to almost all the ma major uh, part of the plants, like oil and gas, refineries, cements, fertilizers, oil, editables, cement plants, as well as power plants. So they are providing these customized solutions to meet the specific manpower requirement, as well as the equipment, requ equipment requirement, which are required for the construction uh, of such a type of projects. So they may do the greenfield projects as a brand new project, brand new plant, or they may do, they are also doing the retrofit, refurbishment, maintenance activities associated with the current plants. So their specialty is to handle the, uh, uh, to provide the people and the resources uh, to, uh, to cater this uh, very complex sort of projects to make this successful within a, within a shortest period of time. So what they do typically, they are, they are doing the fabrication and erection of the piping services. Uh, which cover all type of metallurgy, rajya, ranging from carbon steel, stainless steel, alloy 625, alloy 825. Maybe it will be underground piping or above ground piping or piping associated with the process plants. They also do the plate piping work uh, for fabrication and erection. Uh, they also do structure, uh, structure steel work, which is required for a complex uh, a process plants. They also do civil constructions. Uh, plant maintenance, they also do this uh, tank silos and more tankage works completely on EPC basis. They also assist uh, end user as well as the major EPC clients to provide the erection of the plants and the equipment. Uh, they do blasting and painting services. Uh, they also provide insulation as well as refractory work, which is required for the hot and the cold surface inside the, inside the process plants. Uh, they also do a lot of things for the, at, at their workshop. They they are they themselves uh, claim that they are the turnaround or shutdown specialist for the major work where you know the work has to be finished in forty days, forty five days, or sixty days of time. Uh, so as we discussed, they are providing operation and maintenance services for uh, all type of complex process plants. They also do electrical and instrumentations, and they also provide services for the conveyor systems for the raw material handling inside the plant. So these are the typical, uh, can say of the site work. Uh, you can understand the complexity of the product for project we are talking about here. And typically, what type of pro what type of services that they provide? Uh, uh, 
to majority of the energy sectors as well as the process plants. So, so they have done some civil work for Technip in Jamnagar. A lot of big sizes of the crude tanks they have manufactured. Let's say 80 meter dia, 20 meter height. It's very complex, but they have done it. Heat exchanger hydrojettings uh, work at the Naya Energy Limited. Earlier, uh, they called this as a ISAR projects. So now it has been taken care by the taken over by Naya Nayara projects in Gujarat. Uh, FCCO plant maintenance at Reliant facility. Uh, heat exchangers maintenance as well as inspection they do. A uh, lot of these heat exchangers are relatively very old, let's say 15, 20 years old. So, and mostly these type of heat exchangers was delivered uh, the companies who are present outside of India. So they are providing immediate support and services uh, for such a type of maintenance uh, and inspection activities because without this, you know, process plant cannot be run. So they pre they do the maintenance or periodic maintenance or plan maintenance uh, to run their process plant smoothly. So this is very critical work that these companies are providing. So they also do the spool erections at the site. Uh, they are doing a lot of uh, maintenance work as well as replacement of the process internals inside the process columns, like, you know, stripper column or distillation columns, which required high specialized skilled laborers as well as the resources. So they have that in-house, uh, stainless steel jobs, walls replacement, anything, whatever they required, uh, they are available on the call basis. So these are their major clientele. They work a lot for Reliance, Naira Energy. Those companies are located in uh, Gujarat. So heavily, uh, they are engaged with these two customers. Uh, this is the another company called Ipticom. They have recently received a very big orders. We'll discuss that in the next slides. Uh, Larson and Turbo, Tata Chemical, LNT Hydrocarbons, LNT uh, Powers, Adnoc. Uh, this Yara is a fertilizer plants. Uh, Hindustan Mitter Energy Limited, this is one of the refinery based in Gujarat. Uh, they are the subcontractor for Petron Engineering, AFCON, uh, Kemitech. It's uh, it's one of the uh, outside of India company they, are, they have worked with. They work with Tata projects as well. So they have very good experience of handling such a type of uh, product and services. So this company came into the limelight uh, when we when they received uh, you know 957 crore of orders, uh, and that order has to be completed in two phases. First phase will be completed; it has to be completed by 31st of March, 2025, and phase two has to be completed by 1st October, 2025. So you 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 please understand uh, the company which is currently having 500 crore market cap which they got order of let's say 957 crore from a single customer uh you can see they they must have evaluated the capability and the capacity of this company otherwise they might not have given this order so this is one thing when the order they have given so the company is roughly around 300 crore in in october 2023 if i'm not wrong they also received another order from naira energy roughly 90 crore and 40 crore order from the various clients. So you can see this letter of intent which they got uh, from Ipticom. Uh, we'll discuss further more uh, in the next slides. So, so this company, RBM Infra, roughly having 1,300 crore of orders in, in hand. And they supposed they have to deliver these orders in next two to three years of time. Uh, so, you know, it's a big job that they have, but, you know, how they will execute, uh, that time will tell, but they have all these things in hand. So, I'll summarize. Uh, okay. So, this company received this order of 957 crore, which is roughly 11 times than the annual sales of March 2023. You can see that my, in March 2023, they have uh, roughly sales of around eight, 83 crore. And now only with this order is roughly 9, 957, which is 10 11 x of the annual sales so which is a big achievement for this company so if you see they have roughly uh, 1370 crore of the orders in hand so these are the clientele amount of the orders and when they want to deliver so these are the you know the validity of uh, uh, like you know the the timeline we need to deliver these these type of works so you can see the major clients are there nayara for jamnagar gujarat adani solar Kuch Copper, Molo Energy, Yara Fertilizers, Technip for some civil work, 
Reliance, Jamnagar, again the work, then Ipticoms. So they have substantial amount of work and they are working with these clients on a regular basis. So when we dig out this Ipticom, uh, we, we came to know that this is a recently established company, but they have very good, uh, like, you know, they are, they, they came from a parent group called BN Group based out of Gujarat. Uh, they are basically into the editable oil, uh, fertilizer, they are, they are into the editable oil as well as the construction business in, in civil construction business in, in Gujarat. So the gentleman called Anubhav Gujarat, who is heading the top position in BN Group, he has, he is one of the director of this Ipticom company. So the gentleman called Anubhav Agrawal has recently been awarded by Globe Oil Man of the Year Award for 2022 by the Solvent Extraction Association of India, which is recognized uh, by the Ministry of Commerce, Government of India. And, and as per our understanding and as per our knowledge, uh, RBM Infra has a very good relationship with the promoter of the Ipticons, which helps to get this order. So these are uh, just uh, site photos of uh, the, the project site based in Kuch in Gujarat. So after getting this order's main point is how they will execute the job. So we have cross check and found that RBM uh, already done some Bhumi Pujan ceremony as well as they were successfully raised bank guarantee which is required for this type of job. Uh, execution team is already mobilized uh, which is the first step for the mobilization. And money for this particular job will be paid on a monthly basis and which is eventually happen in such a type of projects. So money flow will not be an issue if they are catering such a big jobs. So these are just actual photos of the Bhumi Pujan uh, where they, they did this Epticom projects. People are already working on this site. So current at the uh, looking at the financial projections, as we discussed, current market cap is around five sixty eight crore. Current price is six seventy two. Their sales are around one one two percent. Profit growth is around one eighty five percent with ROE eighteen point five. ROC is nineteen point nine percent. Currently, quoting P look like very one fifty five, which is very high. But you know, if you calculate the forward P, which is which is coming far lesser than that, what what we are seeing on the on the uh, screener, debt to equity forty two, uh, which is less than one. A good thing to note about this company that promoter holding himself is around seventy two point five, so he has a very high interest in the company. He knows how to run the company, and uh, he's he's uh, is looking looking very promising. He has not diluted his stake in last several years so current cash flows and the balance sheet if you see uh, we we feel that it's a, a boost at this stage uh, and this will eventually uh, this the the projections will align eventually so currently if you see uh, this is very high risk and high reward at this point of time uh, since we entered at a very initial stage so margin of safety is available for me uh, if you see the financial year uh, 2022 and 2023, the sales are roughly 47 and 40, 83 crore uh, respectively with a pet margin of 1 and 2.6%. So the net profit is around 2 and 2.2. But, you know, most of the uh, uh, most of the amounts which they support to receive, the, uh, there were several, several delays to getting the payment in. So because of that, we see this pat. Uh, as we... Uh, as we came to know from the promoters, like, you know, they are currently focusing and whatever job they, they secured and they are going to secure with, with the eight to 10% of margin. So considering that we considered 10% uh, of margins for such a type of businesses and considering the current order book, we feel that this type of net profit, which we can expect. I know there will be a lot of questions and debate on this topic, uh, but we can discuss that further more in detail. So our consideration uh, for these type of projections are that we have divided this current order book uh, for next uh, to be executed for next two to three years, which I discussed around 1,360 crore. Uh, we expect that 90, 900 plus crore order will be executed within the financial year 2026. Uh, if we say 10% of the PAT is roughly nine, 90 crore of the PAT, which you can see. Uh, with these projections, we estimated approximate uh, 1,800 crore of the market cap uh, 
uh, which 90 crore into 20 as a forward P roughly 1,800. So currently this um, market cap of this company is around 560. So it can eventually become 1,800 crore as a market cap. As per the, uh, as per our discussion with promoter, uh, they will maintain 10% mark, 10% uh, PAT as we discuss. And now they are focusing on more value added product and uh, services, uh, which has a higher margin. If they successfully executed, execute this big order, then eventually uh, they will get even bigger orders uh, from Ipticom and the similar clients on the markets uh, once they prove their capabilities. Uh, please note that RB, please note that RBM will also get the new orders in next two to three years. And top line as the sales nine, whatever we projected, it will be much more than what we estimated. Uh, you see this chart in last one year of time, a lot of accumulated heavy buying has happened uh, in February 2023, as well as around September, October 2023. Uh, and this type of accumulation happen when, when there will be some, uh, you know, there will be some potential uh, which investors see in such a type of companies. We have seen these things in so many companies earlier. And uh, we can we can quote we can we can share those references as well. Uh, most important point to understand here is that you know uh, now the current price of this company is roughly around seven hundred uh, Indian rupees. When it is at uh, pre IPO stage, this company is available uh, roughly eight to ten or let's say five to six Indian rupees per share. So you can understand these type of jumps are possibly happen with such a type of companies or such a type of promoters. But we need to keep eyes on such a things uh, at pre-IPO stage as well as IPO stage. Nobody knows what will happen, but the guys who has information, they start accumulating at these stage, at these stages when we, we have shown this in the circle. So the information is very important uh, uh, for us to do the investing decisions. These are the uh, technical charts which we see. Uh, nine triple exponential moving average is crossing 21 uh, TEMA with a good volume. Wage breakouts has happened and latest quarterly results are also excellent. So we'll, we'll just highlight about their latest quarterly results. So if you see these results, which is posted uh, 25th of January, like day before yesterday. So if you see this quarterly, basically it's a SME platform company. So they need to, they need to, uh, present their numbers at least uh, once in a six months. But this company uh, has posted these results based on the uh, quarters. So you see this quarterly revenue and sales increase from 20 crore to 33.36 crore, which is 66% of the jump. Uh, quarterly net profit has increased from 1.34 to 4.86 crore, which is roughly 262%. And quarterly EPS has gone from 1.6 to 5.76, which is roughly 260% of the increase. These results give us more confidence uh, to stay invested in this company, uh, considering the numbers, what they posted, and it shows their execution capabilities. A lot of things uh, I just need to highlight because you know this, these are uh, whatever investment I have personally done on in this company which is against my own, you know, my investing thesis. But, you know, sometimes uh, I do these things and I believe that, you know, we should have to test uh, something uh, like, you know, depth of the water with our own leg. Uh, so this is just honest attempt in which I have done it and almost is 3x for me. So numbers look very, uh, you know, odd. Uh, I recall this Peter Lynch quote uh, where he stated investing in the stock is an art. It's not a science. There is no fixed formula for this. And people who have been trained to rigidly quantify the everything have the big disadvantage. So we know the people are earning a lot of monies uh, are adopting such a type of investing style. And this is very first attempt from our side. And I also recall the, uh, you know, Puneet words uh, on this. Understand the rules, get the reasons of the rules, break them occasionally to make a good amount of returns. And Puneet already done this in Suzlon. 
uh, where you know there he sees some potential of having good returns in a shortest period of time so uh, it is his quote and then we discussed openly on openly on this topic and one day he said rule cup break karna hai khud ka process khud ko develop karna padega so with this i tried this attempt this is the very first time in a company where i invested heavily i have not met the promoter uh, and this is just an honest attempt open to discuss any sort of comments thank you yeah thanks pankaj ji so we have put in a very very crisp way what is the thesis and why we should go and invest into these companies on one question that i have for you is so yeah one of the risk is it is heavily dependent upon the one customer only i agree right so yeah what are the chances that uh, they might cancel the orders that possibility is there that possibility is there we cannot assure for time being mm -hmm. uh, and you know this is just a time like we have we have some margin of safety if we see anything mm -hmm. abnormal happening uh, we may sell but you know at this type of companies the risk is that you know you may not have the buyer available when mm -hmm. it come to the selling so it can easily drop down 40 50 70% -hmm. in next 2 to 3 3 days of trading trading days mm -hmm. so that risk is there yes yeah so other thing is i think they are heavily dependent upon this oil and gas industry or some other industry they are basically depend on oil and gas fertilizers petrochemical they are depends on the uh oil irritable oil industries so they are mainly the construction contractors so industrial in industrial construction hmm. sorry industrial construction yeah industrial construction basically yeah great yeah that's from my side the other guys if you have any question please ask him that's why you know we say this you know it's very high risk and high reward at this point of time uh, but you know if 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 it's successful to deliver let's say the numbers which they posted recent quarters then you know we will not get this like we will not even get the shares of this company pankaj hai murli here yeah murli um you know for the kind of growth that's happening over the next 3 years um these guys should have lined up funding facilities uh, any idea whether that's in place i believe i believe you know they they have secured their job and they were successful to raise the bank guarantees 100% there will be some funding arrangement available with this customer with with this uh, company through their customer or by their own mm we are not so, sure uh, more detail about this yeah one one preferential is already in line for this company I, i'm i'm not sure i'm not uh, sure about the number but funding funding is in line mm. to go but, you know most the... important thing most important thing about this company you know it if you if you google it and if you search properly this company is quoting less than 10 rupees per share uh when it comes to the uh, pre ipo stage mm -hmm. and if we as a team or or if we as a very small group of like minded people can find out such opportunities and where you know we can put let's say 5% of our uh, invested capital it can it can become good right so i am not saying that we are beating this or we we have to adopt this but this is one of the style and one of one of the one of the process which which Oh, like we you know, we we are trying to develop. Mm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Like you know, our money can be can be zero at one point of time, but but people are there in the market who are making money with such a type of uh, approach. And you know, they will they they are also very smart. They they don't put hundred percent of their amount. Like you know, five percent, let's say ten percent of the amount. And if can be successful, then it will be hitting. we are not doing any betting or any sort of you know gambling here but yes with all the information with all the evidences and with all the uh, you know the checks uh, we can think about uh, such a businesses yeah but i think it's a very risky bet like you put no no it is a risky bet it is a risky bet and you know see better better to try with our own money rather than rather than somebody ad somebody's advice right yeah so so when you when when we buy this the lot size is around 3000 right 
so you can understand mm -hmm. the quantum of money and then now the bid size is around 1000 uh, per lot so it's roughly one lot is around 6.5 to 7 crore 7 lakh indian rupees for one lot so it's a big money it's a big money but but people are there people are there who are who are following this mm. look look very risky and odd you know but uh, i know this is against my own own investment philosophy but still you know i took this and i wanted to present this actually you you entered at the um maybe uh, low price when we see see today maybe on even on that day you would have thought it is a high price right i know i know it's a hot it's a high price see if if i yeah. compare that with less, less than 10 rupees and if i invested in let's say 234 rupees right so mm. i paid almost uh, 200x more than what i supposed to get pre ipo level okay. but but, but uh, you know these things happen these things happens yeah but the how the market is giving so much of pe when the order is so, um, when the uh, customer concentration is very sir, high sir order book is there order book is there 1360 crore uh, order that they have in hand right and everything is uh, everything is available on the uh, exchanges they have already notified to all exchanges so we cross verify all the information before we took this decision yeah, we, we and you know don't... people are people are very crazy if you see this uh, chart mm. uh, who is buying on this level and why they are buying there might be some reason right true 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 or buying or trading right whoever is selling who somebody is picking that right if you see after that level, the volume has drained up now. The, the volumes were there around uh, uh, 200 levels. You might right? see that trading is not there. Trading is not there that great after that. Let's say no, after no, November. No. It is there, but with low volume, I'm telling. Yeah, of course, trading is yeah, there. I mean, somebody is selling and yeah. somebody is buying. That percentage of buying and selling is very less, right? Very less, exactly. exactly. So if you see, if you allow me to show you one chart of one company yeah, called uh, One Minute. People are talking too much about this company. Can you able to see this? My screen? No, no. It's no, in the same. Minute? same, same no, no, first, first, you have to go to the, um, okay. the browser. Can you able to yeah. see now? Yes, yes. Now it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sir. Look at this company called uh, RMC Switchgear, right? Yes, RMC Switchgear. Yeah. Okay. So if you go down, uh, see the volume here in last three years of time. Look at this volume. Look at this spike. Mm -hmm. Look at this spike. Then after that, it's down, down, right? Down, yes, yes. If you if you see uh, the you know the profits which they are getting on a, on a court, on a, on a yearly basis, mm. let's say three crore, four crore, five crore, seven crore, eight crore, and it, there is all of a sudden jump of twenty six crore and thirty three mm. crore, right? Even even if you see the op opium increase from ten percentage to twenty one percent, so it not happen in one time, right? But you know some whoever invested during this period, they are getting the fruits. <laughs> very very true very true You're yeah right. and you know see the CAGR of this company from last let's say five years 83 CAGR 83 percent and this three years is around 257 percent CAGR right mm. so so you know as 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 we discussed earlier uh similar line you know last time when we discussed Mason my brother presented Mason and then Exicon and today even uh, he represent presented core mobile so you mm. know numbers look very dodgy at this point of time but anybody has a vision and anybody can see these things i know that out of yes, 8 to 10 businesses uh, two may be failed absolutely failed mm. but you know we are not doing any gambling it's it's a calculated things and uh, mm. it's a calculated things and uh, we are keeping very close eyes on these numbers and the developments even even you know we send couple of our our close friends to see this whether they are really happening or not on the site. So they have given, they have shared these pictures with us. Mm, no, not true. Maybe whenever the in case of some correction happening uh, in the market, we can consider. Uh, Sir, but you know, correction okay. will happen. Like fifty percent correction will happen from this price, right? It mm. may not be. It may not be like ninety percent correction in this type of script. Mm. True. See, if you see this, they are completed. They have completed this firm projects of reputed customers like Nayara, Reliance, even LNT. Mm -hmm. They they will not choose this company so easily. They might have checked their capabilities, their financial muscles. Without that, they cannot give. 
bro the client uh, client is varied and uh, yeah. talks see sir again i am telling you this is this is you know against my own investing philosophy and framework which i generally don't do and this is very first attempt where i did this good that you were successful all the best no it's not <laughs> like that it's not like that i am not gambling no no but... you have high margin of safety now Yeah, it's so, the margin of safety uh, is available. Yeah. yeah. Now, even the price corrects, still you can hold on, and and then you can uh, uh, corroborate your uh, thesis with the reality. So, if you take, uh, if you take, this company is now five sixty eight crore, right? If I compare with the peers, so most of the peers has uh, four digit of market cap. Hmm. Let's say eight thousand three hundred crore, eight thousand six hundred crore, ten thousand crore. Ten thousand crore, twelve thousand crore. So you know, basically, such a type of companies are there who are taking the market shares. Like they have very good connections with the with the uh, decision makers, or they have some personal relationship with such a companies. Without that, you know, they won't they won't be able to get big orders. Hmm. And this is comp completely listed entity. There is no harm. I know that it can be uh, owner can be run away from here as well. but mm. but you know once we met those people we'll understand more in detail like what they are doing and what is their uh, philosophy and what is their vision going forward but personally i never met these people mm. okay thank you thank you so much uh, for the content if you see this see rbm infra this is their latest mm. result which they posted on 25th of january right mm So look at their, uh, look at their, look at their revenue jump, sales jump, mm. from twenty crore to thirty three crore, right? Correct, correct. Look at their profit. Look at their profit. Look at their net profit, which mm. has increased from one point three four to four point eighty six crore. And, and then, then if you in next stage their growth will be like this only for the next few years of course yeah yeah but you know uh, like i have my own exit plan on this if anything is abnormal happening mm. uh, we we make it see i am not trying to convince here i am just trying to you know put my my understanding and my thesis in front of you people yeah true maybe risky bet yes But you know, if it turns in my favor, then no. We'll see. Already, it has turned in your favor. You have to just hold on. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In the meantime, uh, just uh, have put the um, in the WhatsApp group regarding the today's presentations ratings. So, the guys who are online, please put two minutes of your time and uh, do it. and we are continuing with q and a here in the meantime puni ji any remark from your side on this see uh, i it should be always forward looking what i am seeing that okay pe could be 153 but at the end of a march at this price it could be only 50 yeah so 50 pe for a company growing at 100% 200% is pretty okay that way Only risk is the kind of execution, the single client cancellation of orders, single industry. So those are the kind of the risk we have. For yeah. you already, you have margin of safety. But for new uh, money to go into this, I would say be careful because you will not get it at least for one two more or one two more upper circuits. So your margin of safety is still goes away because five percent two three days further right, it will go to seven fifty something. Yeah. So new money should not chase it at the current price. I, I, as per my understanding, you know, we we will not be surprised if we see uh, the price of this business of uh, hundred one thousand rupees, uh, by the end of March twenty twenty four. When they when they post this uh, yearly yearly results. Yeah, yeah, it is possible the way yeah. the orders are flowing or the results they are putting. Yeah. But uh, again, it's something that company is presenting, right? So we need to go by those yes. numbers only. Yeah.
Yeah, any more uh, Puneji, just just one suggestion uh, yeah. you know we uh, since we we are learning and we are evolving our process if anybody came across with such a you know ipo stage company or pre ipo stage company where he has some knowledge or some know how uh, or some information uh, at least where he himself is convinced then we can discuss that uh, with our learner group right yes yes definitely That's the whole idea of making a community we yeah. can gain from each other. Hello. Yeah. Mithun, Mithun, yes. Sir, nice presentation. I really appreciate you and Suraj, sir. Ki aap log, um, uh, SME stocks, mein, you bring up the stocks which uh, has a fantastic run-up. Just uh, wait. Uh, the only thing which I request is whenever you buy or meet uh, promoters as in share our, uh, share this thing with our learner uh, group as in so I can also study and uh, take the position. Hum bhi 3x ka maza le, sir. Aur kuch but it was yes, very, good, very good. No, no, it. no. See, it's thanks to all bull market. Nothing nothing me or nothing anybody else. You market is such a right now. So it's market, not nothing. Market to I agree, I completely agree. But uh, the stocks which you select now, uh, they are very, very attractive. As in this, the entrepreneur uh, ka thing, as in which you uh, up don't know, as in you are able to catch up the story so early. As in, you may have read on my RMB infra. I study so many stocks, but RMB infra, I have read on my Somehow I missed it. I thought it's just run up there, uh, but uh, Are abhi hamare, like you know, the people who presented uh, out of that, you know, seven stock, I was not at all aware about it. Okay. So, you know, it's happened. Yeah. Pankaj bhai, Amar. Amar, bolo. Ah, so, Mithun bol raha hai, jab aap 250 mein kharizo ho na RBM ko, to hmm. learner group mein dalo. Saadhe saath so mein present karega, to dhuk hoda hai, ki 2x to cha gaya bolo. नहीं सर इट्स नहीं उसमें मेरा कुछ भी क्रेडिट नहीं है ये बस लग भी फेवर कर रहा है और मैं तो कह रहा हूं कि हमारे जो थॉट प्रोसेस है ना उसमें सब्सटेंशियल चेंज लाने में पुनीत का काफी बड़ा हाथ है व्हेन व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड दिस डिस्कसिंग विद पुनीत वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो एसआरएफ हिंदुस्तान यूनिलीवर आईटीसी एंड ऑल दीस थिंग्स इवन इवन सम ऑफ द लॉस मेकिंग कंपनीज but you know we are evolving in last one and a half years of time thanks to him from the bottom correct, of heart correct. we lost the position correct. with lot of lot of losses but it's good it's good that we lost it. but uh, but that courage was not there before one and a half years back true so you know my sincere request whoever is attending this if they have not attended you know that mentorship program i strongly suggest please go uh, please uh, avail that service. You will get much more than what you might not have expected from that. Hello? Yeah, yeah I think uh, people... Yeah, and Pune, it's, it's, your, it's your honest attempt uh, to empower the people like me, right, to, to go through in detail. I was not 100% like up to the chart reading and other things, but other things I am trying to learn and uh, evolve myself. I believe in um, how much passion each person has, they will go to that much length into the stock market mostly. Yeah. So yeah. people who have more passion, I think they will go more deeply and trying to meet promoters and get the things out. So that's what I think you are doing. And I think you are on right track because that's what is needed in the market. A conventional way of making money in the market is like invest in a compounder storage like 15%, 20%. And that will also make you wealthy. It's not like you will not become wealthy from that. But if you have to make alpha returns somewhere, you have to break those rules. Even Benjamin Graham has been a father of value investing, right? But he has broken the rules to make good money somewhere. So the same has happened with Warren Buffet also. So all those guys have broken the rules. So they, we thought them as a value investors, but the money has come from breaking the rules. So as early as you learn, as early as you break, that is the key here. Now, each person risk could be different. 
at the same time. So just, I think, uh, keep learning. That's that's all I can say, basically, out of this. I'm just an enabler, nothing else in this whole picture. No, but God God has some better plan for uh, us that we are here in this forum. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll, we are on the right track. I'll just say that. Yeah. And good thing, you know, I learned that average up, don't average down, and so many things from you. Yeah. Uh, so, a lot of people, I think, even in the Bengaluru meet, have this <laughs> learned out of my discussions. So, and anyways, you know, that, yeah. Punichi, one more thing, you know, uh, I feel very proud, like, you know, whatever you say, you know, we, we simply follow that. Even even a small post of yours on WhatsApp group or anywhere, like, you know, it has a lot of meaning. Like, who, whoever is understood, uh, they understood well. Otherwise, for them, it's just a simple message. Yeah, correct. Yeah, which has a lot of meaning. Yeah. And for the day, I think, <laughs> for me, I will not be able no, to... No, no, it's okay. Them. You know, I, hey, Puniji, I, I forgot to have that, you know, flow chart, which you, which you make, right? You know, make a rule and break the rule. Something box diagram you prepared somewhere. Uh, yeah. I, I missed that. So, so that was a trigger for me to find out something yeah. different. So let's focus for the timing in the current session. No I problem. think Thank you are right, but other people might get a little bit on the other side. Bold. Yeah. So I think uh, any other Q&A for Pankaj, then otherwise we'll go to the closing note side. So you can stop sharing Pankaj. No, it's still, uh, still, I think, first you have to remove that sharing part. Yeah, now it is done. So you will be able, you guys will be able to see my screen. And we are back to audience time. Are you guys ready? Last gifts coming up. So the people who have won it already, um, let others pull that trigger. You keep in the background. So what is RBM Infra's order book size? You should be able to crack it. Yes, I think the answer is C only, right, Pankaj? 31369. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think Senthil has put it correctly first. Yeah. So we'll go to the next question, guys. Just stop answering for the first one. Raymond Business Verticals. I think Mitesh has got it to write as nine and above. If I go to the above, then Mitesh is the first person. Yes. So I think Mitesh, you have won this. Answering both fastest. Yeah. So Mitesh, you are there, right? You have just, I will contact you back on this. So now coming to the best presenter award. So this time we are going with the two awards basically instead of one because we have more number of presentations this time. 
and I will request all of you to just spend two, three minutes to fill both the forms of yesterday and today. I need to collate the numbers actually. I just cannot do right away. But please do it and I will post in the group with the kind of numbers we get right, ratings for the people. So there are two awards for this. Please, uh, you have to do it. It's, it's a kind of a motivation for people. And uh, <clears throat> you have to rate between one to five that you already have seen. On the closing notes, yes, we collected approximately 10K only in this event. Why only 10K despite so many people is because for the alpha mentorship, it is free of cost. So there are only few seats generally left, which is around 20. And I think by next alpha mentorship sessions, even those seats would not be available, I think, as the uh, learner group is growing very fast. So after the events cost, I think major part of it will be donated to Orphanage in Bangalore that we keep on doing. So <clears throat> thanks for people who have paid and attended this. I hope it is useful and it is valuable in that much money. I think we cannot go lower than that considering the number of people and the amount of effort each person spent. And uh, as always, I'm so grateful to all of you because without you, these sessions are not possible. It's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. So I, I hope, I think we should be able to catch up soon with the next ALD. Plan is to get once every quarter. But so even if we get one per quarter, I think... 13 to 14 businesses per quarter goes to like 56, 60 in a year. That is more than enough to find two or three good companies out of that. So even if you upon, latch upon two or three companies with significant investment, I think that will change your life. So idea is to understand businesses as much as we can and improve upon our understanding and all the dots will be connected basically because the more you learn, the more you will be able to recognize the next business very fast. And that's what the motive is here. We'll catch up soon again. And I think next time we'll try to get more presenters. And if you guys can bring somebody like Shaker, right? So I would be very happy. Some, if you, some of you know, have some known contacts basically in the bigger circle, please let me know. We will be able to get those people here and increase our domain knowledge or some Q&A. So we'll keep on doing that. So yeah, that's it from my side. So I will share the feedback form also. I think from the last session, some of the learnings we have taken in the terms of feedback, dividing it over two, two days. But still, I feel we have a little scope of improvement that will take it up by the next year. So thanks once again to all the presenters. Mostly we are finishing on time this time. 3.30 was the target, 3.48 is. So, yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you, Puneet. Thank you. So, thanks, Puneet. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks a lot, thanks Puneet. All. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot. All of you. Well, bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.